What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6pm, it is Thursday, it is 24 hours until Team of the Season begins. However, we have had multiple things from EA otherwise. We are going to start today with our 10 coin pack. Get me back on that walkout train EA, not today, not for us. It is going to be Serginio Dest, not the best. What else are we get in here? Nothing good. Do you want to be able to afford to complete new SBCs and test out new players? If so, visit U7Buy to buy your Foot23 coins. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. And make sure to use my code NEP at checkout for 6% off. And let's see what else EA have given us today, guys. So nothing in terms of packs. It, almost nothing. But that doesn't surprise me because, as I say, we're 24 hours away. There won't be new objectives because there are new objectives from uh, earlier on today. If you guys missed it, I did a breakdown of the season progress, the objectives and the new content earlier on on the channel. And um, overall, I think it's massive for me. But just to give a recap, we're going to get the community team of the season swaps via the season progress this time around. And the season progress contains some really cool cards, uh, including some icons for birthday Desai there. Uh, Jesus Navas and Foot Birthday Rooney as a level 30 player, which is genuinely uh, pretty awesome. Um, so GG's to EA on that one. We've got no more Silver Stars today. Oh, sorry, no more Milestones today. And so it is just going to be SBCs. And as I said, I, I have a feeling there won't be too, too much um, content today with Team of the Season starting tomorrow. I anticipate that... Uh, I anticipate that it will all come tomorrow. So no icons in live. Get two by ten is there again. We've got yeah. Marquee matchups XP. Oh, now that'd be interesting if you get XP for marquee matchups. Oh, the, that's what you get in the XP thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um. And then outside of that, that really is it. So the marquee matchups XP, New England versus Cincinnati for an election players pack. MLS players is one, league's minimum two, 74 rated. Galatasaray against Besiktas for a premium election players pack. Roma against Milan for a small prime goal players pack. And Spurs versus Liverpool for a prime election players pack. And for complete, the reason why it's got XP on there, guys, if you didn't check the uh, objectives, is because... If you complete two segments of it, you get this 1,250 XP for completing any two challenges on it. And then, of course, the daily login. If you haven't already, get it done. Because if you forget it, you will regret it. Here we go. And I think, guys, honestly, that's it. So what we, got, what we are going to do is have a little look at the um, Season Progress players... Stats in games, weak foot skill moves, what would be good for them, what wouldn't be good for them. Um, but as expected on this Thursday, there was not going to be much coming. And yeah, actually, uh, looking at foot scoreboard there, the only thing that we got today for 6 p.m. was in fact the marquee matchups. Um, Gundawan has already been upgraded. Did he get skill moves and weak foot? No, he didn't. Oh. If that wasn't just the absolute worst valued SBC we have ever had. Damn, that's bad, man. Um, so Wayne Rooney foot birthday, half a million coins on him for level 30 player, five star, four star, which is nice. This this icon is legit. You pop an engine on him, pace superb, dribbling superb, passing very good, physical superb, shooting superb. You don't mind it at all. Uh, Marcel Desai coming in at 300,000 coins. You could take the fodder packs. Again, I did a breakdown of this on the channel earlier. There'll be like a little uh, annotation for it if you want to click on it. Five-star weak foot on Desai. And then you pop a shadow on him. And it's again, it's just like a 95-rated centre-back. You don't mind it at all, do you? Uh, we've then got Moise Caicedo. He's only three-star, three-star with no traits. But the upgrade is huge. The card is still brilliant. And with his physical being that good already, his dribbling's good with really good composure. 
shooting from range is decent and passing is decent you might you might want to upgrade his passing you might want to give him an engine to get that short passing up pace and dribbling or you might just want to go for that shadow top pace top defending top physical with good passing and good dribbling but that's a really cool card that obviously you could take the fodder instead We've got Giovanni Reina as well. Could play Cam, right wing, left wing, and left mid. Five star, three star on him. With insane dribbling. Good shooting from range. Good physicals. A little low on aggression. Good pace. And that is just a super card, isn't it? Again, for an objective card, for a season swaps card, it's just really good. It's just, depending on how you play with him, the way you want to play with him. A maestro could be the one for those long shots. It doesn't really boost dribbling that much. And in fact, his dribbling might just be... I uh, see that, that that balance and reactions does need to go up, doesn't it? What's the artist do? Artist is okay as well. Deadeye might be the one, to be fair. Max out vision, max out short pass, better curve. And then for traits, he's got injury prone and technical dribbler. But a beast of a card. Jesus Navas flashback can play all the way down that right hand side, right back, right mid, right wing back, and right wing. Compared to his, uh, what was that rule breakers? I don't remember what that promo was called. Um, this is another crazy upgrade, and this is a crazy card with five star skill moves. You pop an anchor on him, and that's just a wild, wild card for an objective card. Dribbling is insane. Passing is insane. Pace, defending, and physicals are very good. And that's if you play him at right back. Give him an engine, you can play him at right wing. Shooting's not the best. No, I would, I would definitely give him an anchor and play him at right back. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a crazy card. And then last but not least, Dimitri Payet, guys. Obviously, his winter wild card was one that was uh, much loved. You can play cam, left wing, and striker. Five star, four star. And again, man, crazy, crazy dribbling. Crazy shooting, good physicals and passing. I think an engine chem style on him is definitely the one. That dribbling becomes outrageous. That passing is very good. Shooting is very good. I mean, these cards are just cracking. These cards are very good. Um, I don't think there's any way to complain. And then the other thing that we do have as well, but I didn't check off in the uh, last video, is there are new moments. Oh, these are new, new. Team of the season is finally here. Celebrate the 2022-2023 season. By reliving key moments from each of the team of the season major leagues. Weekly challenges. Ted Lasso. And then just some, uh, some random ones that are there. And then in the star gallery. We have got. These two packs at the end. 582 plus players pack. Five times you can get that. 35 stars a piece. And 86 plus two players pack. Uh, for 95 stars. I did see somebody complaining, some people complaining about the fact that it's 95 stars. But if you've been just playing moments constantly, you know, I feel like moments is for people that are like not playing online, are more geared towards squad battles and that kind of like casual experience on the game. A double 86 plus for you, you might get a team of the season in there. It's going to be uh, pretty, pretty legit. And then the other thing that they've got, which I didn't look at before, they haven't fully updated it yet, I don't think, because rivals hasn't changed and squad battles haven't changed. But they have introduced the new champions, foot champions rewards. So one of four, 84 pluses in the rare golds here. One of five com tots three times. And then look at that community team of the season, three player pack, which is nice. That's obviously for 19 wins. And then for rank two, uh, it's pretty similar to be fair, um, with another community team of the season pack. And then for rank three, which is 16 wins, you get a one of four com tots twice in the community team of the season three player pack and then for rank five which is of course 14 wins you get the player picks the com tots one of three and then an untradeable community team of the season pack which is a bit interesting but there you go uh and then for rank five which of course is 11 wins you get two a4 pluses two com tots um and then just the packs you don't actually get a guaranteed community team of the season pack which i thought you did last year but i don't actually think you did last year uh, I think 14 or 16 wins is quite nice for it. Um, rank 6 is just one of each. And then rank 7 is a 1 of 4 community or Eredivisie team of season. Max 90, I believe that is, even though we can't see it. Uh, but you get two of them and a 50k and 100k. And then, uh, yeah, it, it goes down. You're still going to get yourself two player picks here, which is quite nice. You know, like just for getting like basically no, you know, you can lose every game 
and get these two and this is two wins for this which i don't I, you know i don't care what anyone says really i just think that's really good um so yeah the the, the rewards here have changed but i'll probably do a better upgrade video or a better breakdown video should i say when everything else changes because i have a feeling everything else has to change they can't not change the um rivals rewards which they did change elite division but only that player pick so far nothing else has changed and it says that the rewards are going to change tomorrow at 6 p.m when the team of the season begins um so once that comes out we'll do a full breakdown of that but that's what's there for today guys uh team of the season is here tomorrow i'm super excited for it let me know what you think thank you very much for watching see you next time i'm out peace